Hello, everybody. Welcome to Girl Life Live. If you are joining me live, let me know that you're here. Let me know that you're here. And I hope that I went live in the right group every once in a while. <laughs> I go live in the wrong group. So if you're here and you are in the business of empowering girls, let me know. And if you're not, I could do a quick little check myself. And that's what I'm going to do while I wait for all you beautiful women to join me. I have two people live. Let me know, are we in the business of empowering girls? Did I get this right? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. So welcome everybody and welcome to all of the new members. I know that uh, we've had an influx of women in this group and I love it. I love everything about it because the more the merrier, uh, we are we are in the collective when we come together when we have a desire to to up level the girls empowerment and the female empowerment movement together then there's more power there so welcome Kelly thank you for joining me live uh, today we're talking about how you can use your platform to really run a girls empowerment community or to simply empower the girls in your community and again, for those of you who are new, I'm just going to do a quick introduction of myself. My name is Melody Pormorati. Uh, I am a twin girl mom. My daughters are 14 years old, Ella and Noah. I'm an author of the book XOXO from a girl who gets it, creator of the podcast, the Empowering Her podcast with Melody Pormorati. And my greatest passion project to date, the Girl Life Certification Program, is my third baby. Uh, I created it with a whole lot of love and an intention of bringing empowerment to women so that they can live it, love it, heal it, own it, and then take it to the girls in their community. So uh, thank you for joining me live today for this topic. Um, this group means so much to me. There's so much goodness that takes place in this group. We all get to connect. We all get to grow. We all get to thrive. And the best part is that we do it together. As I mentioned, that collective energy has the power to take us to the next level. Uh, you supporting one another in this group, you bringing new women, new like-minded women to this group, um, all of the ways that we uplift each other, that's what makes this experience uh, even more, even, even greater and takes it over the top. So uh, thank you. Thank you for being a part of that energy. Thank you for spending your time with me here. I know that there are so many places that you can be in the world of social media, in the world of the online space and the fact that you're here um, is very much appreciated. So I'm going to dive in. I want to share that as women and as we move through the world, we have a unique set of circumstances that have enabled us to be who we are, to step into our truest, most, most authentic selves. And when we get to do that, we are lit up, we are empowered. And each and every one of us comes from a different platform in life. Maybe we wear 25 different hats, we're a part of 25 different communities. All of the beautiful things that make us who we are uh, are the gift that we actually have to share with our next generation of women. So I want you all to, to own that. I want you to own that you, you, Kiran and Janelle and Maggie and Kelly and all who are live with us right now, you have your very own unique footprint, fingerprint on the world. There are no two fingerprints that are alike. Did you know that? Even twins, twins who are identical have two different fingerprints. That tells me that each and every one of us is needed. Each and every one of us is needed on this planet. There's no coincidence that you're here. The chances of you being born are like one in 430 trillion. Am I getting that statistic right? But this is all to drive home the point that you are, you are special, you are unique, and you are needed. And the sooner you own that, the sooner you can step into your own power and then take that power outwards and help serve our girls. And 
when I say our girls, I just, I want to drive something home. I use the word our girls all the time because I think it's, again, a collective. And I want you to know that whether you're a mom or not, whether you're a teacher or not, whether you're a coach or not, whether you're a girl life facilitator or not, you have an influential role in the lives of women. And I just want to read you a paragraph from a book that I'm writing right now called Empowered Women, Empower Girls. That's going to bring home this point that we are all needed, that we get to empower girls without even knowing it, uh, that we play such an important role. So here goes. When I say our girls, I am referring to all girls. We all have impressionable young girls in our lives. They may be our daughters, our students, or our clients, but they are all our girls, a valuable part of the female family. You may say, I'm not really of influence to any young girls in particular, and this is where I would like to challenge your thinking. As women operating in the world, we are influencing every young girl we come in contact with in some way. These young girls are watching us, hearing us, and picking up on our cues of what it is to be a woman. Never underestimate the power of your presence and your influence. You've got some brilliant young minds following your lead. By accessing empowerment in your own life, you will be modeling for our girls how to move through every moment as a powerful, lit up woman. Once we can truly comprehend and access the influence of our own personal power, together we will do the collective heart work necessary to show our girls how it's done. So I just wanted to preface what we are talking about with that. These girls are our girls. We have this beautiful opportunity to pay it forward, to send the elevator back down as women. When we have learned something new, when we have grown in some way, we get to share it. It's our birthright. It's what we do as women. We share the good stuff and this is no different. So I'm going to talk about all the different roles we may play and I'd love to hear about your role. As I'm speaking, I want you to ask yourself, what are some of your platforms in the world? What are some of the things you do? What are some of your unique experiences that make you the person who needs to share your gifts with our girls? So we're talking here about using your unique platform to light up our girls. So I'm gonna start with moms, right? Let's just start with moms. A mom has a unique opportunity at seed level to plant seeds of empowerment for her daughter. And it's all, it's so much simpler than we make it, right? We think, how do I empower my daughter? What books do I get her? What games do I get her? Um, what people do I need to surround her with? All of that. And at the end of the day, moms, she's looking at you. She's watching you. She's checking out your relationship with yourself. She's noticing it. Whether or not you realize that she's watching what you say and what you embody when you look in the mirror. She's watching the kinds of people that you surround yourself with. She's watching what you tolerate. All of those things are sending messages to your daughter of who it is to be, who she can be, who you are, how to operate as an empowered or a disempowered woman. No judgment here, no judgment here, but I've caught myself making disempowering comments to myself or surrounding myself by people who I should no longer hold space for in my life because they have hurt or harmed or shamed me in some way. Um, our girls are watching. Our girls are watching. They're following our cues. They're following our leads. So if you want your daughter to hang out with good people, then you need to hang out with good people. If you want your daughter to look in the mirror and delight at her reflection, you need to delight at your reflection. If you want your daughter to, uh, to read books and to constantly be growing and thriving and evolving, you need to model that for her. You need to create a space where she witnesses that in you. So I always say, uh, empowering yourselves, moms, is the gift that you give to your daughters. It's the greatest gift you give to your daughters. And of course, it is first and foremost the greatest gift you give to yourself. So it's a win-win on all fronts. There's no reason not to give yourself that grace. So 
That is one simple way, the simplest way, and I know it's not as simple as I'm making it sound because it really is a reflection of the relationship we have with ourselves. And so many of us, myself included, um, aren't always the kindest to ourselves. But when we know better, we do better. And this is an opportunity. This is a prompt right here for you to, to be good to yourself and watch your daughter be good to herself and to others. So moms, that's one way that you can use your platform as a mama to empower girls. How about a teacher? How about a teacher? A teacher has such a unique opportunity to use her platform to empower the kids that she comes in contact with on the regular. You know, emotional intelligence is not taught in school. We talk a lot about IQ, not as much about EQ. In my opinion, EQ is way more important than IQ. Um, I'm not that person who remembers battle dates and wars and you know that's not where i'm focusing my concentration it's important no doubt for kids to be in tune with history but i want kids to be creating their present and their future by using their emotional intelligence and teachers you have this unique opportunity to ask them thought-provoking questions to get them in the mindset of being solution focused um in encouraging and inspiring them to work together as a team effort to uplift each other. You have a very unique platform here that you can use to empower your kids. Um, and it's such a gift. Let's see what Marbella is saying. I love your name, Marbella. Yes, I don't have any kids, but the other day, my youngest niece and little sister, 14 and 15 years old, had these amazing things to say about me, and I had no idea the impact I was having about them. Yeah, that's amazing, Marbella, and they happen to tell you. Now, think of all the times that you're having an impact on someone, you don't even hear about it. You don't even hear about it. There's such a ripple effect when we up-level our own game, when we like step into our truth, when we own who we are, when we walk with confidence, when we own our weird, right? These are all empowering qualities. And, and people sit up and take notice. They notice it. So thank you for sharing that, Marbella. Life coaches. Life coaches have a unique way that they can use their platform. I'm one of those people. I mean, I stepped into my work as a life coach, never thinking that I would get into the girls empowerment world. I had two daughters. I started noticing the thought patterns that women had, myself included. You know, there was so much fear that we had been fed as young girls. And I was like, we need to do something about this. We need to set our girls up with such a strong foundation when the, that when those tough years, the adolescence, the fears are placed on them, they're able to move through it with resilience and ease and grace when it comes to them. It doesn't mean life is effortless always. It's part of the human experience to have challenges, but how cool is it to have a, a tool belt that allows us to show up for ourselves in a different way, to show up for others in an elevated way. So as a life coach, I took my platform, I turned it into a full out girls empowerment circle right here in my own living room. Many of you have heard the story, so I won't go deeply into it right now, but I took all the tools that I was teaching women and I brought them to our girls. So life coaches, health coaches, you have a very unique opportunity here to take everything you've been practicing in your coaching practices and bring it to the girls, serve them in groups and collective groups and watch them thrive. What a unique platform you have. And you know what the bonus is coaches? That you start filling up your coaching practice because all the mamas come to, to you. They say, I want some of that empowerment that my daughter received from you. I wanna learn about self-love. I wanna learn about manifestation. I wanna learn about meditation. And it's kind of like this gift that all of a sudden you have more clients, all of a sudden you're serving girls and you're so lit up because you're doing exactly what you're meant to do and you're operating on purpose. Uh, as a health coach, I, I'm a life and a health coach, and as a health coach, I think back to my studies at IIN, which is Nutrition School, Institute for Integrative Nutrition, and they talk about primary foods and secondary foods, and believe it or not, 
primary foods are the foods that feed our soul. Those are our passions, our spiritual practices, the people we surround ourselves with, our work in the world. When we can really deliver primary food to ourselves, that is the first indicator of what kind of healthy lifestyle we can embrace. And secondary food is the food that we actually eat, the food that we eat. So I, I wrote this in an article once and it was like, everyone was very excited about this statement. I said, you can eat all the kale in the world, but if you don't have any self-love going on, it's not gonna serve you. You're not gonna live a healthy life. So think about those primary foods when you start living and breathing in the primary foods and then you deliver those things to the girls and embody that for the girls in your workshops, boom, it's crazy. Again, it's the greatest glow up. It's the win-win. You win, they win, everybody grows, right? You win, they win, everybody grows. So those are some ways. And you know, there's no, there's no limit. Now, I, I missed many of you, I'm sure. Tell me about the platforms that you have. Tell me about the roles that you play in your life. Share with me and the women in this community, how can you take that unique role and bring girls empowerment into the mix? Maybe you are in a corporate job. Maybe you want to uh, start a girls empowerment community for, for the children of your coworkers, right? There are so many ways to do this. Maybe you're a librarian and you want to start a group in your library. Maybe you're a yoga teacher um, or a Zumba teacher and you want to up-level all of the amazing work you're doing on the mat. What are you going to do? You're going to bring in empowerment. So there's, there, like, I don't think there is any position in life that you could tell me where I would tell you that you do not have a unique ability to impact the girls in your own community. So... Um, so thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Thanks, Luz. Uh, I want to tell you guys, if you're ready, and I know a lot of you are, um, we have something exciting happening. It's starting Monday, March 8th for five days. It's a masterclass and it's all about how to actually run your own girls empowerment workshop. I lay it all down for you. I give you the A to Z of how to bring girls into your workshops. What are you gonna teach the girls? How are you going to market what you're doing? How are you gonna share what you're doing backed with love and intention? Uh, this is, to me, one of the greatest offerings that we have here at Girl Life. And I hope you'll join us. I hope you'll join us again, March 8th. We meet every day for five days, plus some bonuses that I'm going to announce later. But we meet every day for five days from noon Eastern Standard Time until 1 p.m. And it's really a party. It's a party with a ton of like-minded women. We are all supporting each other. We're all learning together how to up level our own empowerment and how to best deliver it to the girls in our community. I've been running these workshops for almost eight years and I'm gonna break down for you my try tested and true format for making this work, for impacting those girls and for earning for the good work that you're doing. So we're gonna teach you how to make this a profitable endeavor and it's all for free. So I hope you'll join us. Uh, all you have to do is respond to the uh, invite. If you go to the events section of our group, you will see the invite for day one. Join us. Just say that you're going, even if you're going to catch it on the replay. Uh, and this way you'll be in tune with all the comings and goings and activities. You'll get your workbooks. We assign you an account. Well, we don't assign you an accountability partner. You assign yourself an accountability partner. So you get to go through this with another woman. So... I'm so excited. I'm so excited. If you are as excited as I am for this, definitely go to the events tab. Let us know that you're you're going to be there with us. Give me some hearts if you're excited uh, and mark your calendars because I know life can get so insanely busy that we have every intention of showing up for something, but we completely forget. So I want you to put it on your calendar. Block out I know I said five days, but you're going to get three days of bonuses. Block out every day from March 8th, International Women's Day, from 12 Eastern Standard Time to 1, so you can make sure that you commit. Because the first step is committing to it. Once we commit to it, we can actually make it happen. And I want this for you. 
Why do I want this for you? I want this for you because A, you are going to have the ultimate glow up in your own life. You are going to become the empowered woman you always admired in other women. You are going to live your best life. And you know what? There's nothing more beautiful than, than sharing that with the girls in your community. There's nothing more beautiful than waking up with purpose every morning and knowing that you get to make an impact. So I want this for you. And I want you to want it for yourself. So definitely join us. Um, what else did I want to share? Does anyone have any questions for me? I'm seeing a lot of hearts and hugs and, and people in the group saying hello to each other, which I absolutely love. Uh, this has been amazing. You have a unique platform to share. If you haven't already joined us on Instagram, join us there because there's a lot more stuff going on there. Lots of lives happening lately, lots of collaborations with other women. You could join us at Girl Life Empowerment on Instagram. And if you haven't checked out the podcast yet, it's called the Empowering Her Podcast with Melody Pormorati. And I have like 20 minutes or less of bite-sized pieces, tips for empowerment, for up-leveling your own game so uh, you can live in your truth and live your best life and take it to the next generation. So thank you for being live with me. I'm sending you all a giant hug. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next week. Same time, same place for Girl Life Live where we're going to have a little bit of a pre-party. We're going to have a pre-party for our uh, training that's happening in honor of International Women's Day, how to run your first girls empowerment workshop. So I'll see you next week, same time, same place. And we're going to lay down the foundation for the following week of fun and festivities. Thank you Bye so now. much for hanging out with me on my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for more empowering content. And check us out at www.getgirlpower.com.